Today's famous scientist is a true American innovator, Philo Farnsworth. He was born in a log cabin in Utah in 1906. In his lifetime, he helped usher the world into the electronic age. When he was just 14, Farnsworth began to sketch out ideas for his most important invention, the first electronic television. He was a farmer's son, and from his father's plow in the field, he got his idea of a screen full of scanning lines going back and forth. Farnsworth had a working prototype of the TV at the facial hair growing age of 21. A bright guy like Farnsworth knew what his invention would mean. His first image that he broadcasted was a dollar sign. And everyone wanted a piece of his priceless idea. Farnsworth and RCA spent years in court over the design of their competing television systems, but Farnsworth came out the winner. In the coming years, from his basement laboratory, nicknamed The Cave, Farnsworth's discoveries would improve upon or completely invent things like radar, infrared night vision, the electronic microscope, and the baby incubator. Oh yeah, he also invented a device that creates a little thing we call nuclear fusion. In all, he racked up more than 300 patents in the U.S. and elsewhere. Amazingly, despite being the man most responsible for the development of TV, Farnsworth appeared on it just once in the 1957 game show, I've Got a Secret. Now, we're not going to identify this contestant panel because to identify him would be to tip off his secret. We will call him simply Dr. X. Now, Doctor, if you will whisper your secret to me, we will show it at the same time to the folks out there. He stumped the panel, and for that, he won 80 bucks and a carton of cigarettes. Incredibly, on that appearance, Farnsworth also predicted the invention of high-definition TV and DVRs. Long after his death, his wife said the moment Farnsworth knew he had invented something important was when he saw Neil Armstrong land on the moon in 1969. That's one small step for man. Before that, his wife said, he wasn't too sure. One giant leap for man. Of course, that was a long time before Jersey Shore and this show came on the air. From a log cabin to broadcasting from space, Philo Farnsworth helped shape the world in which we live. I'm sure that wherever Philo is now, he's really sorry for that whole Jersey Shore thing.